people are not respecting the masks on the whole. Absolutely. Especially the young ones. Although science supports the idea that wearing a mask like this one in public can help slow the spread of COVID-19, a new survey shows that a majority of Quebecers continue to reject them. This despite that three out of four people are expecting a second wave to hit in the fall. Sometimes I wear it, sometimes I don't. I find if you're outside, you don't need it, but to go into the store, it's fine. Uh, if everybody's wearing a mask, uh, we'll be able to minim minimize uh, the second wave. So we want that. We don't want to have more uh, people uh, dying. The survey conducted by the Canadian Medical Association confirms that the majority of Quebecers will follow most COVID-19 preventative measures like frequent hand washing, social distancing and coughing into one's elbow. But less than half said they aren't wearing masks in public since the beginning of the pandemic. That number is even lower among the 18 to 24 crowd. A lot of the elderly will wear it, but the younger people are not so happy to wear it. But I like to wear mine. <laughs> I feel comfortable. I don't have a problem. So I think people should do it. It's suffocating, especially in, like, in the summer. But yeah, I don't enjoy it. But I do it because it's for the safety of everyone. If someone's not wearing a mask and it's not mandatory, they're not... I they're technically not doing anything wrong, right? On Thursday, Quebec announced the latest phase of deconfinement, allowing casinos, bars, hotels, amusement parks to reopen in the province. Although Quebec is recommending face masks but not enforcing their use, the Côte St. Luke city is making it mandatory as of July 1st. Côte St. Luke is, among many other areas in Montreal, considered a hot zone with 517 confirmed cases of the virus. It's the same thing if nobody smoked in restaurants. But if we have a population that's showing they're not ready, we need to help them get ready. And that's all we're trying to do. And, and, and I'm pretty sure Quebec's going to follow. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.